Hello, thanks for joining me on Life & Surround. Today I'm going to be sharing with you your top 15 surround albums. A while ago I took a poll on quadraphonicquad.com asking for people's top 10 and I tallied up the votes and here are the top 15. I was going to do the top 10 but the next five were just too good not to include. I'm also going to include the entire list all the way down to the releases that got even one vote just because like the entire list is actually like pretty good and if you went and shopped that list I think you would be pretty impressed most of the time. Alright so number 15 we have Jeff Beck's Blow by Blow. I've gone over this before. This is a quad SACD. It is available from Analog Productions and Sony but I recommend the Analog Productions because they got the phasing right and you're gonna have a much more satisfying uh, sound, particularly in the bottom end. All right. Next, number 14, we have a DVD audio or a Blu-ray audio. Yes, close to the edge. This is a Stephen Wilson 5.1 mix. These, yes, uh, DVD audios or Blu-rays are basically a box set on a disc. You get tons of extras. This is super cool. Um, I don't think that Stephen Wilson did the greatest job uh, of what he's capable of doing with this 5.1 mix. It has some mixed criticism, but um, it is interesting and it definitely separates things out and you're going to discover things about Close to the Edge that you never would otherwise. All right, I believe we're at number 13, and that's going to be Wish You Were Here. This is available only in the Immersion box set. If you want to get the Blu-ray, which has the original Brian Humphreys quad from the 70s, it also has the much more recent James Guthrie 5.1. Now, you can get the 5.1 separately on Super Audio CD, and the thing is that Guthrie... Um, wants to respect the stereo more and so you're going to get a less active surround mix. So I recommend the quad. Alright, so then where are we at? Number 12, we have Sea Change from Beck. You can get it on Blu-ray, DVD audio, or SACD. Now the good news is that these all sound more or less the same to me, so I would sort of pick up the one that's in your price range, so you have a lot of choices, but um, I guess I would go with the DVD audio if you can find it affordably, because it has a lot of cool extras, and I just like the way that the menu works, and something about the way that the PCM from DVD audio works with my system very well, so I'm going to generally go with DVD audio if I'm given the choice. All right, next up, where are we at? 11, we have Steely Dan's Gaucho. Now, this is going to uh, bring in a format that I don't ordinarily talk about very much. This is a DTS CD. You're going to try to get six channels out of uh, CD quality bandwidth. So for what they're trying to do, I think they do a remarkable job. And the cool thing about this DTS CD is it's actually a different mix than the SACD and the DVD audio, which I don't have. So I am trying to track down the DVD audio. If you have an extra one or are sick of yours, go ahead and send it to me. I haven't found it at a price that I'm comfortable with, but the SACD does sound marvelous. I just tend to prefer DVD audio. So Gaucho, no matter what version you're listening to, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Elliot Shiner Mix, and, yeah, I would go for the SACD or the DVD audio if you're interested in the best sound, and then also pick up the DTS CD if you're interested in a slightly different mix. We're not talking a radically different mix, but there were a few choices that were made between the production of the DTS CD and then the later DVD audio and SACD. All right, where are we at? Number 10, we have Brothers in Arms from Dire Straits. This is available as an SACD rather affordably, and then a little bit more pricey is going to be the dual disc DVD audio. I would say go for the DVD audio because this album was recorded straight to PCM, and why convert if you don't have to? So you get 
recorded in PCM, PCM technology for DVD audio, but they had to convert to DSD for Super Audio CD. Now, I happen to think that the Super Audio CD sounds just awesome, so again, if it's a price range thing, um, this is super available and affordable, so go for it. All right, Fleetwood Mac Rumors. This is another one that's available in DVD audio and SACD. Um, this is another Elliott Shiner mix, I believe. Like this list is full of Elliott Shiner and Stephen Wilson mixes. Uh, and that should tell you something, that they are two really great engineers that put out stuff that is very pleasant in surround. Um, I think I found the SACD initially because it was just available new on CD Japan uh, for maybe 20 bucks or something. And eventually I just had to track down the DVD audio, which is a bit more pricey, but it's just an obsession of mine. And where are we at? Number eight, we have the Yes album. It's another box set on a disc. I think it was available in DVD audio and Blu-ray. Mine happens to be Blu-ray. Tons of extras. This may be the best Stephen Wilson Yes 5.1 mix. Uh, I also love Fragile, but this is just incredible. I was always a little bit lukewarm on this album until hearing this mix, and it completely sucked me in, and I completely get it. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic. All right, and we're at number seven. It would make more sense if this were number nine, but it is what it is. We have The Beatles, The White Album. This book contains some CDs and a Blu-ray, and on that Blu-ray is the original mono, and I think a stereo remix, and then also a 5.1 remix by Giles Martin and Sam Okel. The only thing that keeps this out of my top echelon, and I actually would have chosen Abbey Road over this, is that they got such a clean sound with their 5.1 remix that they went and undid some of their magic and wanted to create more of the rough sound of the original. And so I find this to be a little harsh, and compared to like other albums that I listen to in similar genres, I have to turn this down a little bit. Now once I've done that, it is not fatiguing for me. I can make it all the way through this double album uh, comfortably and enjoyably. I just think that the mastering leaves a little bit to be desired, and otherwise, this is highly recommended. The 5.1 mix is revelatory. It's extremely well done. A few songs are not super active, but most of them are, and you're going to be delighted. All right. Where are we at? Number six. Number six, A Night at the Opera. Now, Night at the Opera by Queen is available on two different DVD audio versions, a DVD video version for the 30th anniversary and this Blu-ray. The uh, reason why I'm just showing you the Blu-ray is I've already done at least one video on Night at the Opera and I recommend the Blu-ray. The reason is that this album went through um, at least one re-remix when Brian May wanted to make some um, changes to the original Elliott Shiner mix and then also there were some tracks that were not entirely discreet on the original DVD audios and that was later corrected when they found the multi-tracks and it's my belief that this Blu-ray has the completely discreet set of tracks like all 12 tracks are completely discreet and between the DVD video which is also completely discreet and this Blu-ray this mastering just beats the DVD video to a bloody pulp like, this sounds wonderful to my ears, and um, even though I think it is probably the priciest option, usually, um, if you love this album and want to hear it at its absolute best, this is the version that you need. All right, where are we at? Number five. Oh boy, we're getting to some super incredible albums, although I think there's going to be one surprise coming up. All right, we have Avalon. By Roxy Music. This is a Bob Clear Mountain mix. This is an absolute stunner. Um, Bob Clear Mountain is an amazing mix engineer. He mixes into surround just about everything he works on since uh, sometime in the 90s, I believe. And I hope somehow we'll be able to hear many, many more of his mixes. Um, 
but this one has seen the light of day. Unfortunately, it's only available on Super Audio CD. It's out of print and it is pricey. But um, everybody who ends up getting it pretty much universally attests that it's just fantastic. It's an incredible mix. And if you hear it, I think you'll agree that it is a must. So there's a reason why this got lots of votes. Now, I haven't been telling you how many votes each of these got. The lowest number of votes across 25 people that these albums got was four. And let me see, Avalon got six. And so now we're headed into the six, seven, eight, nine range. Okay? All right, so also with six votes, Hotel California by Eagles. I have the Super Audio CD and the DVD Audio. You can also get it on Blu-ray in a recent box set. To my ears, just go with the DVD Audio if you can find it. Uh, the Super Audio CD sounds awesome to me as well. It's just that some systems have some issues with bass management if you're running pure DSD. So if you're going to convert to PCM, may as well just start with PCM and avoid the conversion, right? So. It's an Elliott Shiner mix. It's an incredible mix. Many people uh, hold it to be a reference. Like if you put it on and your system sounds balanced, then you know, you're good to go. So it's one of those calibration discs that people will use. All right, next, where are we at? Number three, Dark Side of the Moon. This is another Blu-ray that's available in the Immersion box set. You can get just the 5.1 mix on Super Audio CD if you want the James Guthrie mix. But you got to go for the 1973, I believe, Alan Parsons Quad Mix, 72 or 73. Um, it does not have quite the pristine fidelity that the Super Audio CD has, but the mix is just absolutely jaw-dropping, a must if you're into surround, and to my ears, the fidelity is just fine. It's just that Guthrie had access to lower generation tapes. All right, we're getting down to the wire here. Coming in at number two, if I hadn't compiled the votes in a certain way, this would have been number one. Stephen Wilson's Hand Cannot Erase. I guess for this one, he hit that balance between proggy weirdness and pop accessibility. I would have chosen Raven myself, but um, Hand Cannot Erase got eight votes. And it absolutely is just a perfect, wonderful mix. It's powerful. It's got great musicianship, great songwriting. It does have some proggy weirdness and some accessibility, like I said. So if you have not heard this, I do consider it a must. And also Raven that refused to sing. You can get um, Hand Cannot Erase in a mega, mega box set if you want to follow the whole story of this tragic young lady's life and demise. All right, so the number one vote getter. And um, the way that I compiled these votes was if somebody called out this box set specifically, or if they called out an album only available in this box set. We have Chicago Quadio. I've mentioned this quite a few times. It's got nine Blu-rays in it all the way from Chicago Transit Authority to Chicago 10. It's only missing Chicago 4, which was never mixed into quad. This is absolutely killer. It is uh, mixed primarily by Wayne Tarnowski and a couple of other engineers. And um, these mixes are just absolutely superb. You tend to get the main rock elements up front, like lead vocal, drums, bass, some of the guitars, and then you get a lot of the horns and the overdubs and the surrounds and that just completely works for me. Um, each of these albums just become so much more fun and unlayered so that you can just hear all of the interplay, you can hear the horn arrangements and this is absolutely just incredible. And that leads me to a little bit of surround sound news because Rhino have, I don't believe they've officially announced the Doobie Brothers Quadio box, but um, somebody who works with or for Rhino has leaked it at least, and maybe by now they've officially announced it. So Doobie Brothers Quadio box containing four albums is coming, and I'm pretty excited about that. Um, let me see. So that takes us through your top 15. 
as chosen by uh, members of Quadraphonic Quad, but I also want to hear your top 10 or 15 if you didn't participate in that poll and you want to leave your picks down in the comments. That's a great way for other viewers to get recommendations and build their collections and also um, I myself, I might not have something that you highly recommend. I happen to have had all of these and pretty soon I'll give you my top 10 or 15 which is a little bit different than this list. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did and you appreciate surround music or music in general, you like what I do, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell if you haven't already. Uh, like this video, leave your comments, that all helps the health of this channel. If you want to further support this channel, you can pick up one of the Life and Surround t-shirts from my eBay store, Lee Baggins, L-E-I-G-H Baggins. Um, there are four different colors, I believe, and that does help support um, buying new equipment and stuff like that. And not only is this a great conversation starter, this cool logo, but it's also a sigil of power. So you're getting a lot of value while helping to support the channel. So I appreciate you watching. Until next time, live life in surround.